So, on the pain versus bliss point, here's kind of the takeaway. When you look at your life and your business, and this was absolutely true of me, she dialed totally into it. Um, you look at the ebbs and flows in your emotional state and financial state, your confidence level in various sectors of your business, your confidence level in various home life, blah, 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 and they will very often, almost always, correlate. The months that I am most worried about business is frankly the months that I do the least good business. The months that I am most I got this, get out of my way, this is rocking, is the months where things continue to be rocking. Call it the secret, call it, you know, the law of attraction, whatever, all of that circles back and it appears everywhere in every good mentor's training. So I want to spend a few minutes today working on what that is because I know for most of my life and there are times right now where it's like, oh, that is the stuff that comes out the back end of the cow after he's had a good meal. And it's not. It's also not, gee, hopes and prayers, good feelings, let's do all the things Facebook people do when there's a shooting, and kumbaya. No. It's right down at the heart level of imagining that which will exist for you when you reach a goal. Maybe not the goal, but a goal. And working backward from there. On the historic level, a friend of mine, very accomplished business person, told me that he... Um, is huge into war, history, military, whatever. Not just playing Risk, but like really knowing this stuff and living it and doing simulations and all that crap. And he said, how did the Allies get to Berlin? And I said, well, they took one step and crossed the channel. And he's like, no. They thought of what it was going to be like when they got to Berlin. And then they back thought every step before that. And when they had clarity on the steps they weren't ready for yet, eventually they got back to where they were right now. And they figured out that step. And that's really where you need to be. On a much smaller scale, I taught my daughter this about bowling. Something which I have noticed in my personal life. We don't do it a lot, but when we do it, it is 1,000% affected by your mindset. If you go up there and just throw the ball, eh, not so much. If you go up there and say, I want all the pins to go down, eh, maybe a little bit or better, but not so much. If you go up there and you say, wow, it feels so good seeing all the pins fall, and you're believing that, and that's in you, those pins are going down. And that's kind of the way this works. And it's hard to do that when you're constantly getting stabbed by the prickles on the rows causing the pain before you get to the bliss. It's hard to do that when, you know, you face it and say, oh crap, I had a phenomenal January and February, but I got nothing on the books for March. And if I don't make a good march, I'm going to have to dip into personal savings, and that's going to be bad. And all of a sudden, is it worth doing? Am I good? Blah, blah, blah. And guess what? You spend a day doing that kind of worrying and not actually putting anything on the books for March. Um, it also comes from, and I've done this myself, the last two months have been kind of bad about this. Um... You get caught up in the minutia. Um, you get caught up in the daily living. You get caught up in the... That apartment has a plumbing leak and I can't find a plumber to get over there fast enough so I have to go do it. So now I've lost a half a day of productivity and when I get home I'm physically exhausted. So I'm not that productive the rest of the time. 
yeah, you know, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, but I deserve a couple beers because it was a bitch of a day. And you do, and it was, but how does that move you forward? Or, gee, it's 9.30 at night, I got home, and now I got to do all the business I should have done during the day. One that's happened to me lately is I've become lazy about asking people for pre-approvals or proof of funds. And when you hit the other end of the deal, I have deals right now that have been sliding down the calendar because that basic wasn't taken care of up front. So all of that needs to happen now. And you need to focus now. How did I get to that point? Because I took on that client typically on a moment of fear without doing the sniffing around because I wanted to feel like something useful was happening. And yes, I've been doing this for 20 years, 10 years full time. And yes, I've got something like in the last 12 months, $6 million in transactions, which is actually small, but in my market, it's pretty serious. Um, and so what you've got to do is you've got to vision where you want to be. Backstop that quickly. And this is what I do for my mentorship students to the steps you need to take now. And then take them. And remember the mantra that has gotten me through so many dark times in my life. Do one thing every day that your future self will thank you for. And I have to thank you guys, actually. These videos are very often that one thing. Because without sharing what I know, I lose two things. On the one side, I lose the ability to remember what I know and feel good about what I know. It's a confidence builder to be able to share stuff like this. Hopefully you guys find it valuable. But also, my future self will thank me when my training course and education systems become um, self-sustaining and profitable on a consistent basis. So this is one thing today that I've done for my future self. And yes, you're going to get stuck in the mud. I am right now running up to a property with a whip and a chair to put this circus of clients in place to finish a deal 